Hello and welcome to the 11th part of my... Sorry, uh, this was, that was my girlfriend in the background, if you could maybe hear her. So, um, in this part we are gonna do everything about classes, what classes are. With classes we are able to define our very own data type. We had strings, we had yeah, integers, which are primitive data types, and now we are heading to the complex data type. So, like a variable, a function, a class begins with a keyword, in this case the keyword class. Now we have our uh, the name of the class, which we are gonna call protein shake. Now the columns, and yeah, what we don't need are the brackets, but like a uh, like a function, we can add our purpose statement, which is tastes tasty. Because why not? Can if we press enter, there's nothing. So, what is a class? A class, as already say, is a blueprint of a new, more complex data type, lo uh, like a protein shake. If we um, defined our very own protein shake, we can do instances of this protein shake. For example, we can create our very own protein shake like fudge fudge brownie is equals protein shake so important um, when we um, define a new protein shake we have to use the brackets but not when we define the class itself So the protein shake is like the class, the blueprint, and the fudge brownie is the individual protein shake. If we want to be more clear what I am meaning, I um, will tell you the next part of the uh, class, which can be the constructor. So in the um, class we can define our very own functions which always which all refer to our class or even our object. And yeah, the first um, definition is the um, constructor definition. And first we have the keyword def, and then we will use two underscores then we type in it and then again two underscores so the compiler knows oh now there is a constructor then important um, we have to use brackets and yeah the first argument which is always inside a constructor is self so it is referring to itself as an instance. Now we can add more variables, more arguments like amount of protein, which is an integer, and flavor, which is a string, and yeah. Inside the function we will type self punct. as you can clearly hear there's something on the couch behind me okay we have to type self punct amount of protein equals amount of protein and in the next line we type in self point flavor equals flavor. So why is that important? Now if we type 1, it gives us 
obviously um, a mistake, a type error. The exception because uh, we didn't, yeah, define our arguments. like that one. Now we can um, define another protein shake like strawberry cheese cake is a new protein shake which has 28 grams of protein and yeah the flavor shall be strawberry but the cheese is missing. So now if we print protein shake it will give us class main protein shake. So we can try to print fudge brownie but we will just get an, that we have an instance of an object. But now if we print protein point flavor, we will get something smelly because now we are referring to the individual string which has the instance fudge brownie. Same goes for the strawberry cheesecake. So if we print the f uh, flavor of the stra sorry, strawberry cheesecake, we will get a strawberry, but the cheese is missing. And this is because every uh, variable is um, defined individually for the instance of the object. You call the instances of the class objects and the class you call obviously class. Class is like the blueprint blueprint object is like the individual version of the class. Like m human is a class but you are more like, okay that sounds wrong, but you are an object. Um, the uh, person which is maybe sitting behind you watching you is also an object. But the person or the dog itself as a, yeah, as a word is a class. Your personal dog, which you named Bello, is an object. So next to the variables of the object, we can define class variables like purpose. Purpose equals gaining muscles. So now we are printing um, fudge brownie point purpose and ch strawberry cheesecake point purpose and it is the same and now this is funny because if we change the fudge brownie purpose to getting diarrhea Oh, I hope I spelled it correctly. I obviously didn't, but you know what I mean. Then the purpose of the strawberry cheesecake is still gaining muscles, but um, yeah, the fudge bony purpose is now getting diarrhea, but never override um, class variables, just rely on the object variables, which are in the constructor. Now let us define another function which is dev and yeah the function we call print its values which also has the self and now what the function does it simply prints the self amount of protein as a string so we type f the string use the brackets and yeah
Let me just finish, then I explain everything. So what I wrote is an individual function for every instance of the object and now if we type fudgebrownie point prints its values and strawberry cheesecake point print its value we are getting 20, 20, uh, 22 grams of protein and tests like something smelly and 28 grams of protein and 10 and tastes like strawberry but the cheese the cheese is missing bo. that's hard to pronounce if you are a non-native speaker we can also uh, define function which alterates um, variables uh, variables like def take the shake and let it stay outside for a few days and this changes self punct flavor to the worst nightmare you will encounter you and your stomach will encounter. And now the strawberry cheesecake will yeah, stay a little bit outside. And after staying outside, it tastes like the worst nightmare you and your stomach will encounter. So maybe I have to mention you also can have other um, arguments. You can put the, um, the worst nightmare you uh, your stomach will encounter as a default variable. And yeah, self point flavor is A. So if you don't um, use an argument, it will just get um, the worst nightmare you and your stomach will encounter. Otherwise, it will get a flavor which you decide. So that's it for this video. In the next video, I will talk about maybe even we are heading to inheritance. Yeah, inheritance. But um, for now, this video is over. I hope you could enjoy the video. Have a nice day, evening, morning, whatever time it is, dinner time. See you in the next video. Bye bye.